It's December, and you know what that means. It's time for the season finale of Distro Delves, and we've only got four distros to look at, so let's get to it already. So because I've never actually done a season finale for Distro Delves before, I'm going to totally wing it here. In season one, we looked at a sum total of four Linux distributions, Ubuntu 18.4 LTS, Fedora 31, Elementary OS 5.0, and Solus 4.0. Out of these four distros, Ubuntu 18.4 had the fewest issues and offered the best performance. Elementary OS was a close second, offering almost the same performance as Ubuntu, but presented some network challenges. Solus wasn't too bad either, except for the gaming performance, which wasn't terribly good. And Fedora offered up the most trouble, giving us issues with networking and gaming, including a bug that caused the desktop to completely lock up. Now, Fedora 31 uses GNOME 3.34 and Solus with Budgie leverages components from the GNOME stack, which probably helps explain why the gaming performance was similar on both distros. It's important to note that the bug that caused those regressions has been fixed. Elementary OS doesn't necessarily leverage the entire GNOME stack the same way Budgie does, however it does use the same GTK version as Ubuntu 18.4, so it's not really a surprise that the performance was similar between the two. But what does all of this mean? Which is the best of the four distros? Well, I mean, it totally depends on what you value as a user. If you don't do any sort of 3D gaming, then gaming performance regressions in Fedora and Solus probably won't bother you much. But this helps to illustrate why we don't compare distros against each other here on Distro Delves. Reviews tend to be subjective, and my needs as a user are simply not the same as yours. For example, I'm happy to use proprietary software and drivers when I need to, but I totally understand that there's a lot of people out there who much prefer using free and open source software and drivers. So should I penalize a distro like Fedora for not allowing patent encumbered software in the repos? Of course not. So I want to talk to you about changes I'll be making to the series in 2020. Distro Delves as a video series was largely experimental at first and I didn't really have any expectations for it. I basically put together a list of features that I expect from my Linux distro and after looking at it I thought that it might make for a good script or outline for a video. After I wrapped up the Solus video, I revisited the outline and made a few tweaks, which will go into effect in Season 2, which starts in January. I'm taking the entire performance section of the script and spinning it off into its own series called Brunchmarks. The resource utilization portion of the script is being merged with the install and post-install section, so we'll look at disk usage and resource utilization right after logging in for the very first time, rather than after we've installed a bunch of stuff. Also, initially for the series, I wanted there to be like a base distro so that I can compare all of the other distros against it, but I decided to axe that because I felt that it added unnecessary complexity to the series, and it also added some competition that didn't really add anything to the series or the videos, so. I'm also going to be adding an obtaining it section where I'll briefly talk about how to get the distro, like downloading the ISO or buying a device with it pre-installed. And because of how the videos are produced, I'm expecting to do one episode per month with an accompanying blog post on the EGIO website. And the season finale videos going forward will be in the form of like a top five list sort of video. I've done those before and you guys really seem to like them. And if we're going to be looking at like 12 or possibly more distros all year, it, like why not just make like a top three or top five video? And then finally, Distro Delves wasn't intended to be a review series or anything like that. But... Like it or not, that's how people view these videos, and honestly, I don't really see anything wrong with that, so I'm just going to call them reviews. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased with Distro Delve so far. To be fair, my expectations were pretty low because I didn't really have a good vision of what the series would look like until I finished the Solus video. The comments many of you have left on the videos have been extraordinary to say the least, and I'm incredibly flattered that you guys like the series so much. To be honest, I find most Distro Review videos to be pretty lame. More often than not, the reviewer just talks about how great the distro is and maybe looks at some default apps, and that's like it. People don't usually talk about drivers, they usually don't talk about gaming or networking or any of the issues that a distro has, so it's like videos just aren't interesting to me. In a way, Distro Delves is actually a sort of anti-review series because it is so contrary with how most Linux distro reviews videos operate. Instead of talking about how great the distro is, I want to make an effort to highlight the bad parts of the distro, as well as the good parts. And so that's going to wrap this video and this season of Distro Delves up. 
Now I want to graciously thank all of you for watching the series and leaving such positive comments as well as liking all of the videos. I actually have quite a number of detractors in the community that frequently dislike my videos within minutes of me uploading them, so your support and encouragement means an awful lot to me. If you'd like to support me and the channel and or the series, consider being a patron of mine or following me on Coffee or Twitter. And also, stay tuned for the Brunchmark series pilot in a couple weeks, or probably it'll happen in January, but it's coming. I think you guys are really going to like it. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.